pozole is one of those iconic Mexican foods. I'm just adding a whole cut of chicken into this pot with water. I had pozole in my wedding, like many people have in their weddings. And it's one of those dishes that just wakes you up. So you know, in Mexico, we like to have big parties. And after everybody has danced for hours and hours and hours and hours, they bring big bowls of pozoles and they call this dish Levanta Muertos or Wake Up the Dead because after you have a couple of spoonfuls, you're ready to party again. So I'm adding a head of garlic and then I'm just adding one whole onion. And this is gonna be a super, super simple chicken broth. I'm adding cilantro and a little bit of salt. And then this is going to cook for just about 50 minutes because I don't wanna suck out all of the juices from the chicken. I want it juicy and tender for the pozole. And in this other pot, I have this kind of corn, but already cooked. This is the soul of pozole. In fact, pozole means Foam. You here know it as hominy. Some people call it giant corn. And pozole is called pozole because you cook it until it practically blooms. And when it blooms, it foams. So that's the name of the dish. Just look at this. This has fully bloomed. And then it is the meatiest thing for a soup. Meatier than meat, I'm telling you. You bite into this, it is so chunky and so delicious and it tastes like Mexico because Mexico is just full of corn. Mmm. Incredible. If you want to make it at home, all you need to do is soak it overnight, put it in a pot, cover it with water, add a head of garlic, and cook it for about four to four and a half hours until it blooms. You can make it the night before and just let it sit there. Nothing will happen. So I'm in the middle of making the red pozole. I'm just finishing to shred the chicken that is super moist and juicy. And I'm pouring it in here where I have my pozole with its cooking broth. I'm pouring the chicken broth, and it has that cilantro and onion and garlic flavor. And I'm gonna turn this on, and it's gonna be at a low simmer. Now guys, in Mexico, we are diehards. You either love a red pozole or a white pozole. I am a red pozole fan. Every pozole, no matter if it's red or white, which are the most popular, or green, they all start from a white pozole base. This is a white pozole. And now we make the sauce to turn it into a red pozole. Just grab a couple ancho chiles and three guajillo chilies. The ancho is chocolatey, bittersweet, tastes a little bit like prunes, not spicy at all. The guajillo is like sunny and bright and it sounds when you shake it. They're beautiful ingredients. You have to bring them in your kitchen. And all you need to do is cut the stems off, or just with your hand, just like that, however you wanna do it. And the seeds go everywhere. They like to jump, they've been in there too long. Take the seeds out. And then all you do is put these chiles in a saucepan, cover it with water, and bring it to a simmer for about like 10 to 15 minutes. Look at this. See how they're super meaty? Then the guajillo, here goes. And then, of course, you don't wanna put this delicious cooking broth to waste. And then I'm adding some garlic cloves, a little bit of onion. I just need like a third of a cup, roughly chopped, because it's going to be pureed anyway two whole cloves, and I'm just gonna remove the stems. And a little bit of salt, and then a pinch of cumin. Cumin goes a long, 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 long way. So just a pinch, 
And then I'm gonna puree this until super duper smooth. And I'm gonna add a little bit of oil in here. And now I want it to all come together and extra season. This is just an extra step that we Mexicans sometimes do to seasoning sauces. And in here goes. And that needs to cook for about five or six minutes. And the sauce is ready. So it's just like a seasoning paste. It's thickened super nicely. All I'm doing now is adding it in here. Smells incredible. Let me tell you what this sauce does to the pozole is magic. I always say to a friend, Maricruz, who is a white pozole fan, she says, no, Patty, white pozole is the best. And I always tell her, to me, the white pozole is for rainy days, for when you're staying in. But when you're gonna have a party, you're gonna have a piñata, you're gonna have a lot of friends, red pozole is king. It really is.